Hey, my loves, we're going to do a general love reading for the collective. Okay, we're going to be using my Dolly T Oracle deck, which you may find in my Etsy shop. I do have all the decks on hand with me, so you don't have to wait long anymore to receive them. Okay, all right, she thick. Okay, she has 120 cards, y'all. <laughs> 120 cards. All right, let's get into the reading. Please take what resonates and drop what doesn't. And if you want to book a private reading, you can email me or inbox me. You can always click the link in my bio. And in my link tree, you will see the services I provide and how you may pay to get your reading, okay? All right, let's see what comes through. All right, we got stalking hard. All right, so there could be <laughs> there could be a love interest that's stalking you. Either they see that you're stalking them or they feel like they are. Or maybe your ex's new girlfriend or their ex could be stalking you. Um, yeah, heavy energy on all eyes on you type of vibe, whether you're male or female watching. It could be an Aries, okay? An Aries could be stalking you or you're an Aries and someone's you know, keeping their eye on you could be a male or female or both. Many eyes are on you. Uh, it says, I'm good. Things will work out. It could be this person trying to decide whether they want to come back into your life. Like if they have to think about it, it's not for you. Right. And, and as an Aries myself, it's like, if you want to be gone, be gone. Fuck it. You know, and you're, you're, you know that you're good. You know, the universe will take care of you. Maybe you don't want this person anymore. You don't find interest in them anymore because, you know, they just do everything ass backwards. They're, they could be highly disappointing to you. Um, maybe you shut this person out and you're just going with the flow. All right. And now this person has no choice but to like just spy on you to get intel on you, perhaps. Um, yeah. Dead to me. Yeah. You could have literally like cut somebody out of your life want nothing to do with them emotional retrograde okay so that you your feelings right now are in retro you are just not having it right now you're you don't have the fucking patience for anything or anyone um you're in this very i don't give a fuck type of energy you went from being sad crying miserable to like thinking why am i even shedding a tear for this son of a gun <laughs> son of a gun right somebody could have wanted their cake and eat it too and you're like nah it could be the person that they fucked around with that's spying on you probably even watching this reading hi all right and then we also have yeah see nosy people all up in the motherfucking business you got nosy exes or nosy side pieces watching you watching us <laughs> as i twirl my pumpkin spice latte <laughs> These people can stay mad. You're going to be winning. You're going to have a big winning. Something about a very big winning. Yeah, you got some nosy ass people. Even family members. Even this person's mother. Like sister. Like family could be stalking. The vibe ain't right. Pull back. That's exactly what you did. You pulled your energy back. You're like, this person is just not good for me no more. They didn't think you had it in you to pull away or to, you know, distance yourself. Speaking facts. They didn't like the fact that you called them out on their shit. Yeah, you could have you could be the type of person that calls people out on their shit because you're Aries are very blunt um, or you have Aries in your chart and people just got fucking sensitive. They got emotional. They didn't know how to take it. Everything you said, like they took offense to everything you said, did facial expressions, the way you said it, like they just, they found any excuse to fucking hate you. They were, you had a lot, you have a lot of haters, envious people. They hate you and envious of you, but yet they are, they're stalking and they can't stop being up in people's business. Like make it make sense. You could be somebody in the public eye, maybe even a <clears throat> public speaker. It's like maybe someone's trying to catch you talking shit so they can come after you. Maybe someone's trying to find out if like what you're saying about them. And you're just like, ain't nobody talking about you. I don't fuck with you. 
okay? We also have I was wrong. So there could be a person that is keeping an eye on you that thought that maybe you were the problem and after stalking you and listening to you, they're realizing, you know what, I was wrong about this person or that person was wrong about this person, you know? Let's say if a masculine, let's say your ex was talking shit about you to his new fling, this new fling had to stalk you and find out for themselves because we don't be believing nobody no more, you know? People just say shit, talk out of their ass to make themselves look good and get what they want. So this chick or male, who, depending who's watching, could have been, you know, trying to get intel on you themselves just to find out they were wrong about you. Yeah, they could even become a fan of you. They like the way you speak. Yeah, it says I can take care of myself, especially because it says I'm good. <laughs> Everything will work out, right? So you're like... You're like, I can take care of myself. Maybe perhaps this person's worried about your safety or, or yourself or whatever. And you're like, dude, the fuck for? You should be worried about you, right? We have Sagittarius energy here. Someone could be connected to a Sag. Have Sag in their chart. Maybe something's going to happen in Sagittarius season where maybe somebody might think you need like extra protection. We have staying together, okay? So someone's gonna someone's gonna stay together, or wants to stay together with you. Perhaps a Sagittarius is gonna get close to you. Somebody could wear glasses. Someone could be hitting the gym or looking good. Someone could meet someone at the gym. Hey. We also have player myself, huh? It's funny because it feels like if this is a player that like maybe you, the vibe wasn't right with them. If there was a player involved, you're like, whatever, I'm going to play on this person back. But then you're realizing, <laughs> but then you're realizing, you know what, like it, it's not even worth it. Instead, you'd rather be single than to be playing mind games because you ain't about that fuck shit energy. Center stage. Some of you guys are going to be literally, like I said in the beginning, all lies on you, right? You are the main character of your fucking drama, of your <laughs> soap opera that's coming up. You got some like drum roll. You got like a big show of your life coming up. You're, you're going to be able to write a book about this. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to get all kinds of attention. You know what I mean? Like you're going to get attention left and right. Something good's going to happen to you. It says, don't tell him yet, sis. Ooh, see, something good is about to happen for you. And the universe is like, don't tell that dude yet. Don't tell that person yet. Don't tell this person your winnings. Don't post it. Stay anonymous because things are going to get messy. Yeah. Or if you said something, it will get messy. And suddenly, like, the snakes will start coming out of the woodworks talking about they miss you, they love you. Like, the fuck? When? When have you ever showed you motherfucking cared, right? When? What else do we got here? We got Leo. Damn, we got all three fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sag. Good grief. What is up with the fire signs? So it could be a, a stalking fire sign or, like fucking fire signs are being stalked hardcore right now someone that can't sleep at night thinking about you it says up at night deep thoughts of you or you've been having deep thoughts about somebody or a fire sign somebody wants to express how they feel and it leaves you lost for words or someone becomes like lost for words and you're realizing that you're at your best without this person you're you're going to do better without this person. You don't need this drama. You're going to be look, you're going to be checking someone out. Someone's going to catch your attention and you're like, "Who's this? What up?" It feels like you're going to step into your masculine energy and take charge. You're not going to wait for anybody to approach you. You're going to be doing the approaching. Okay, queen, go get what you want. Oh shit, some of you even got a new fling coming after you. Like, I'm going to get that. <laughs> All right, my love. Shit, they might even be a fire sign. But anyways, that is what's coming through. I hope you enjoy and I'll talk to you later. Bye.